there! Hey! And welcome to week two of Jesus Said, Don't Be Afraid! Teacher Felicia, I've mm -hmm. got a question for you. Yes. Do you have any fears? Whoa, whew, I actually do. What are you afraid of? I am afraid of heights. Mm. And I am afraid of closed spaces. That's known as claustrophobia. And your fear is known as agoraphobia. Oh, wow. Guess what? Oh, no. What? <laughs> I've got a surprise for you. Uh -huh. Voila! <laughs> it's a ladder! Okay. Well, okay. I can't kill your fears today. <sighs> okay, let me do this. Come on, cheer on. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Come on, you can do it. Go up, go up, go up, go up. While teacher Felicia conquers her fear, we're going to be talking about the fear of having a lack of money. And we're going to be doing fear factor. I'm going to help you conquer your fear. Stay tuned. It's going to be amazing. Let's shake the love. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay, Something, something I knew was there but couldn't see I remember the moment When the one I was searching for found me I can't make sense of it, no getting over it How much your love changed everything Oh, cause I know you now How could I go without Jesus, you're more than enough for me I don't need anything else I need your love I need your love I don't want anything else I need your love I need your love God, I need you like water God, I need you like I need it to breathe I Where, 
Miss Marion. Yeah, did she say she's coming? Yeah, she said she was coming. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. How are you guys doing? We're good. Okay. How are you? I'm good, thank you. It's good. Mm. I brought you a gift. Okay. Because you've been really sad lately. Oh, thank you so much. It's very sweet of you. <gasps> I love this wrapping paper. <laughs> oh, and the gift. Ooh, it makes a noise! Oh, should I open it? Yes, yes, open it! Yes. Oh, it's a tambourine! <laughs> That's so exciting! And you know what, guys? This gift and being with you guys reminds me of a verse. Hmm? Hmm. Really? Yes. What verse? From John 14, verse 27, Jesus said, I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. Oh, okay. The peace I give, the world cannot give, so don't be troubled or afraid. Wow. Right? Wow, Felicia. Mm. That is such an awesome verse. It really is, right? Right? Yeah. Hmm. You know what? I rate we can turn it into a song. Oh. Bing. Idea. Let's see if you guys uh, know this one. Okay. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. to learn this verse with that beat too! Yes! Right? Uh, that would be so cool! Yes, that is so cool. Woo! I like my gift. Hi there! Today I want to tell you about an unusual miracle that Jesus did. It was something so strange that it had never been done before. It had something to do with money. Now money is something that we all need. We need money to buy food, to get clothes, to get what we need for school. And sometimes when we haven't got enough money, it can make us feel a bit worried inside. Sometimes people even feel afraid of having a lack of money, of not being able to buy everything that they need. Now remember Jesus said, do not be afraid. And he says that we should not be afraid of a lack of money either because he is the one who provides for all our needs. Sometimes he provides in ways that are usual, like working hard to earn some money. And sometimes he provides in ways that we didn't expect, like an unexpected gift or even a miracle, like what happened with Jesus and Peter. Now they went to the town of Capernaum and when they got there, the tax collectors said to Peter, are you ready to pay your taxes? And Peter said to them, I'll get back to you because he knew they didn't have the money that they needed. All the way walking to the house where Jesus was, Peter was worried about the money that they needed for the taxes. And as he got into the house, I think he wanted to ask Jesus, what shall we do? But before he could even ask Jesus what to do about their lack of money, Jesus started to talk to him about taxes and about how God provides for his children. And then he said to Peter something very unusual. He said to Peter, go down to the lake and throw in a line. Open the mouth of the first fish you catch and you will find a large silver coin. That's really strange. Peter had been fishing all his life. He knew that fish didn't come with money inside. And sometimes when Jesus gives us something to do, it might seem a little bit unusual. But Peter obeyed Jesus' words. And we need to do that too. Whatever Jesus tells us to do, we need to do what Jesus says because he is the one who knows everything. He knows our needs even before we ask him. And so Peter went down to the lake. He threw in a line and he pulled out a fish. 
I wonder what he was thinking before he opened the mouth of that fish. He was a fisherman, so he knew you had to catch quite a lot of fish and sell them to get a decent amount of money. He knew that one fish was not going to be enough to pay their taxes. And then he opened the mouth of the fish. And what do you think he found inside? You're right. He found a large silver coin. It was just the right amount for the taxes that they needed to pay. And so Peter learned a really important lesson. Whenever Jesus tells us to do something, we need to do that. And we don't have to worry and be afraid about lack of money because God will guide us and he will provide. Hebrews tells us something very important about money. It says, don't love money. Be satisfied with what you have. For God has said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. God says that he will be the one who provides for us. But that doesn't mean we should be greedy. He says we need to be content with what we have and we need to trust him that he will provide the money that we need. So don't be afraid of lack of money because God will provide all of our needs. And now we're going to go and have a look at a fear factor challenge. Let's see how you are doing with your fear factor. Remember, Jesus said, don't be afraid. Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Fear Factor. I am Spurge Rogan and I'm not alone today. As usual, I have two contestants with me. Guys, would you like to introduce yourself? I'll start with you. My name is Ethan. Ethan, Ethan, how do you feel about today's challenge? I'm nervous, but excited at the same time. Well, you do definitely sound nervous. I'm not so sure about excited because your voice is rather low. You'd have to speak incredibly louder. Nervous and excited is Ethan. And on my right hand side, that's your left, I have with me Olivia. Miss Olivia. Miss Olivia, how do you feel about today's challenge? Nervous. Nervous. Why are you nervous, if I may ask? It looks interesting. It looks interesting. This is like one of those occasions when you visit a friend for the first time and it's time to eat and they pull out the dishes and you think, oh snap, what's this? I've never seen anything like this before. So what's going to happen today is that these two are going to try and consume foods that well, let's just say they are culturally unfamiliar with. This is stuff they don't usually eat at home. And we're going to see if they can go through it. Now, I want to challenge you guys to do the same thing, right? You might not do it in the form of a game, but it's more fun if you do it as a game. But you could go and visit people who eat different food than what you do and actually introduce your tongue to some new tastes. So anyway, with today's challenge, what they have is before them, they have four containers. Do you guys want to just show everybody at home what's in the containers? And I'll tell you guys a bit later what it is. We've got four distinct ingredients. Um, and what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to try and finish all of this. And the one who finishes this stuff will get themselves some fizzes and a secret Surprise. Are you guys excited? Yes. Are you excited? Mm. Well, let's give it a go and taste and see what's on the other side. <laughs> so I'm going to count you guys in in a moment. It, the, the rules are very simple. One container at a time. Grab it. Eat it. I need the containers to be clean. And for every clean container, you'll win yourself a fizzer. Four clean containers means you get a surprise at the end. So, are you guys ready at home? I know I am. Let's count them in. In five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Well, so far, so good. I must confess, I'm looking at this stuff. I don't even know what earth they're eating. That looks like a strawberry mixed with beetroot. 
I, I don't I don't even know what's going on. Anyway, guys, you know the truth is oftentimes if you look at what people eat, it's a reflection of their financial situation. Well, rich people eat a certain kind of thing, and people who don't have much money eat different things. In fact. What people eat is more than just a reflection of their financial status. It's also a reflection of their culture. Because if you go to China, they eat different things than what they eat in Ghana, right? Now, here's the truth. We live in a world where not everybody gets to eat, whether it's a challenge or just everyday life. And to be honest, I think a lot of people go to bed every night with a fear of not getting food. The truth is many people don't have money. Many people are struggling and they have that fear of lacking money, of their parents losing their jobs, of not getting jobs, of not having money. In our new series, we've listened to what Jesus said to us and he told us not to be afraid. And this week, what I want to talk to you guys about is the fear of a lack of money. The truth is, even though we face the challenges where Things happen where we don't often have money. We don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be afraid of a lack of money. We just have to look to God. Pray for your parents. Pray that they'll find the jobs that they desire and will be able to provide for your family. And while you're at it, be sure to pray for your friends as well. How are we doing, guys? <laughs> While these guys are still chowing this stuff, um, get creative with it, okay? Find all different kinds of food that you can. In fact, ask a friend to bring you some food from their house. And let's try this fear factor challenge. Today, we're gonna find out if fear is a factor for Olivia and Ethan. While well, they are plowing through this stuff. I think Ethan came hungry today. <laughs> you guys are doing well. Fighting a music battle yet. Oh, Ethan, you look like you're close to finishing. Oh, that looks good. What's that? Okra. Is that okra? It must <laughs> How does it taste? I don't even know. <laughs> it's just disgusting. Come on, you there, solo, solo, solo. Solo, you there? Is it in? No, it's in. Oh, awesome. Oh. Okay, awesome. There you have it. Uh, two contestants have gone. Jaden managed to go through all four containers. Olivia, on the other hand, had a taste of everything. Olivia, I'm going to start with you. Could you describe what that was like? A disaster. <laughs> a disaster. What What is your favorite taste? Dragon fruit. The dragon fruit. And what is your least favorite taste? Tofu. The tofu, uh, which was a lot. Oh my goodness. And what about you, Jaden? What did you enjoy the most? The dragon fruit. The dragon fruit as well. And what did you enjoy the least? This. Okra. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Well, as promised, I, I promised the guys that if they were to finish any of the containers, I was gonna give them fizzes and a grand prize for anybody who finished all. So here are the prices. Now, 
because you finished four, I'm going to give you four fizzes. Congratulations. You know what? I'm going to give you two anyway because you ate a whole lot of that tofu and you finished the dragon fruit. And of course, you are our grand prize winner for today, Mr. Jaden. Do you want to open that and find out what you got for yourself? I have to do this one handed. Drum roll. 50 rands to buy yourself some mouthwash. I'm just joking. We've had a great time on Fear Factor. All I can say is I've been Spurge Rogan and evidently fear is not a factor for these two contestants. Until next week, goodbye.